Okay, so we're back again. I had a bit of a break to think what I'd do. And I still think we should have to go and take Ovid as much as possible. Just to summarise what happened in the last session for people who didn't watch it. Basically, everyone declared war on me. <laughs> and Siam have gone. And Gustavus Adolphus has gone. This has actually not been turned off since the last session. Hence the um, scores of zero are still on the right hand side. And we have lost the city, we lost Ovid, as you may have guessed and may have noticed. But um, we're on the way back to getting it. We had no way of defending it because we got attacked sort of out of the blue. So we're going to try and get on. I'll put the sound on and we may resume. Yeah, so another theme of the last episode was that I was running out of money constantly. Um, hopefully this time round that won't be as big an issue. We're only minus one right now. So it's not like we're disastrously low on funds. That needs taken out though, please. Oh dear, I can't even take it out. That's great. You need to hit just a little bit less hard than you wish, which means you always get stuck. And we can't attack the city from here. Well, that's a great omen for how difficult this is going to be. Why can't we attack from here? I'm on a hill, and I'm attacking something that's on a hill, yet I can't hit it. Strange. Very, very strange. So what we're going to do here... We're going to have to go around there. Which means I'm going to have to move this here. But then I'm going to have no way of protecting my unit. Well, this is just great, isn't it? <laughs> Getting this back is going to be a nightmare. Because I can't even hit the city from there. So I might as well just put it there in place and block that gap. Maybe third or fourth time we'll get this converted into a mine. So I think the US can't take us out. I think I've blockaded the gaps well enough. I just wish that he declared peace on a reasonably even keel. Hiawatha on the other hand, I'm going to have to attack him quite heavily. Just get him out of the way. There's a settler there. You know what that means. America stole economics. There's not a lot I can do about that right now. Why he wasn't trying to steal off Hiawatha, I don't even know. How many coins do I... How many... How many coins? How much gold do I need to buy a tile? Well, the tile I want is too expensive. I was going to try and block him off by buying tiles. Wait, one, two, three, four... He could settle in place there, in theory. Uh, dear, that's not good. Yeah, I need that tiles to the southwest of the horse to try and mess him up. But nobody in the map has enough money for, to me to be able to do that. <sighs> He's going to settle there. And that's going to be another city I have to take off him. Um... that. I'm just hoping the musket doesn't attack the um, crossbows. That would be less than ideal. Let's get this sent up here please. Switch places. Actually we'll send this there. Uh... How are we going to do this? Going to temporarily switch places is what we're going to do. Right, build me that mine, please. <laughs> Eventually, we might get the mine. You never know. Antwerp is no longer nearly a, is nearly our friend. No longer. I'm going to have to build a bank before I go bust. Ah, he's going to settle in place. What a pain in the bum.
It's not even a good city location. It would have been better on the other side of the mountains. Ah, what a numpty. On the positive side, at least where the horses are, I can fire at him from my territory. Pretty much free of charge. I just wish rather than going for that tile, I'd go for one of these. But never mind. So, how are we going to do this? Well, I think the way, the best way to go at it is for me to try and take that out somehow. That's a bonus in open. That's a bonus in open. That's only got one bonus in open, so... Oh, I can't hit it. Well, that's great. <laughs> I presume this can't hit it either, but... Yeah, I just wanted to check. This really is a cracking location. It's just a shame I can't get it back because it's such a good location. I could pillage that tile as a way of getting some health back, but... I would rather... get a unit in the stock gap. I think that's of more benefit. Um, on this side, nobody's doing anything. Oh, there's a... Hang on. Whoa! You think you're going to be sneaky? Not happening. <laughs> One hit kill. Yep, yeah, that's not happening. Maybe if that keeps happening, the US will stop being stupid and offer a surrender. I doubt it, but you never know. I've met Marrakesh somehow. I don't even know where they are. Oh well, that's free money. It says a lot that 15 gold is quite important to me right now. Oh there, that's how I met them. Um, okay, go back to alert please. There's nothing to pillage there, so I'm just going to have to try and hope it survives. That did a lot. Right. Whoa, 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 whoa. They have a lot of units and I can't bloody piece them either. That may be dead. <sighs> Let's try and move that there. At least that way I might get a flanking bonus. Yeah, these can't do a lot from here. I can try and get that into a position where it helps everybody, but I can't quite do it this turn. Putting it there will benefit the uh, situation at least a bit. I suspect that crossbow, yeah, may be getting killed, but the positive of that is that the musket has moved off the hill. So it's not all a bad thing. And Cahokia's units have... Well, I thought they'd run away for a minute there. <laughs> if only. Right, we're going to have to take these out. Can that take it out? No. Now it can. So I'm going to take that, most of that and take it out. Um, we want to do damage against cities. Another great person. Fantastic. Why did they put it in nice here? Actually, that is a stupid place to put that. Um, put it where the cannon is, please. Um, something improved, a citizen. Um, Antioch can get an extra hammer. Is anyone else population grown without me noticing? Not that I'm aware of. Nope. Okie dokie. Wow, they actually took the musket out. I am actually quite surprised by that fact. Oh, great. <laughs> yeah, I get a bonus in open terrain, and I'm in bloody crappy te terrain, so... Right, put that there. I'm going to have to put... Oh, at least the musket is um, pretty much out of commission. 
next turn I may be able to take that out. May is the keyword. He'll offer peace for free now, but I need to take my city back first. Will Cahokia attack my musket? No. Oh, great. Manila's. I've got Machu Picchu. That means my goal situation is not near as bad. Who befriended? Oh, bloody Iroquois. If it had been US, it wouldn't have been as bad, but. Right. How am I going to get around this one? I'd be attacking over a river, but I'd still do more damage. to here because we're going to have to take this out because otherwise this could be the opportunity I want actually to take Manila out full stop this needs to attack the city I can't be guaranteed that that will take it out so now it will right I've got my city back and because it's my own city, I didn't get a massive penalty for doing it. Unfortunately, I'm probably going to take a bit of a casualty hit just for getting that city because they're still in the area. Quickly build a river, yeah, build a river, guys. No, I meant build a um, market. What That's the deal they'll offer. Now, is it worth? What, let's see. What will the U.S. First, offer me? You are a friend to liberty. They'll pay me. Is the following trade of interest to you? We Great. Will. Right. Okay. Now this changes everything. This changes absolutely everything. I am willing to give peace to the US because what I want to do is take out Hiawatha or at least dent him severely. Because he knackered my city up. He was starting to become a productive city and then he just ruined it. I may lose a... Oh no, they're fleeing. Oh, they're fleeing. Hello. Well, that's interesting for a different reason. He's fleeing, which probably means he doesn't think he's winning. Now, that is a very interesting piece of information that I just got out. Why do I need a road there? Explain to me the use of that road. I should be connected to the capital already. Knackered to mine up, but that's not a particular problem, to be brutally honest. Oops. I didn't mean to move there when protected. I meant to do that. That nearly made me look silly. Um, right. Basically, this is my opportunity to take Manila out, so I'm going to have to take it now. Because if I take it at another time, I'll look like Dick Dastardly, pretty much. Whereas if I do it now, I probably won't look on, be looked upon quite as poorly. And Manila shouldn't really give up much resistance from what I can see. Their city probably will, but nothing else should. I'm 
I'm hoping they don't kill that crossbow. It's possible that they will, but I'm hoping they won't. Um, what I should do is check what's left in the city. I've got a library still, so that's handy. So I just have to build a monument. Yeah, despite the fact it got crushed twice, I have managed to attain the fact it has a library. Now, will Cahokia try and take out my crossbow? I hope the answer to that is no. No, they did not. So, that's the crossbow of theirs pretty much can act. I'm going to put that there to try and tempt him to stay in place. Wow, I didn't even take him out. Bullshit. <laughs> Okay. The fact that my iron got knackered is not a big problem, to be fair. The bigger annoyance to me is that they have two crossbows, not the one, so I'm going to have to be a bit clev more clever than I'd planned to try and tempt them out of the city. Is the following trade um, of interest to you? What I'm going to do is say for 135 do I don't have citrus and I've never had ivory so is the following trade of interest to you is the following trade of interest to you I'll do that because if I can get close to a golden age that would be perfect because then my gold situation would really start rocketing positively rather than negatively the question now is if I take Manila what would I go for next so assume I take Manila, it'll take a few turns I would have thought, but assume it. Do I go for Cahokia? Do I go for Kana Joe Harry? Well that's probably going to worth, be worth quite a lot of Scrabble points. Um, or do I go down here? Wow. They're starting to be converted into the Spanish religion, I've just noticed. That's not what I wanted. It's better than them being Christianity, but it's not what I wanted. Right, so quickly heal please. Um, you go back here and heal because you'll heal more quickly, especially because you yourself are a medic. What's down here? Not a lot. Okay. I'm going to let that heal. All of that heal before I um, go and press on with anything. What do I need to improve? That's up here. I can't really improve tiles down here per se um, any more than I am without risking taking too many units and them getting killed although I may go for that silver because that is probably quite safe now Nicomedia has no um, Is the fun no Nicomedia has no military presence there but they're not attacking me in Nicomedia for some reason I would have thought that would be the next city they would have gone for but they just don't seem interested what the hell happened then an enemy knight attacked your cannon. Okay. That would normally be annoying, but they're not particularly strong. So I'm going to let that fortify and let these two heal more quickly. Um, tile improvement, please. Fortify until healed. If you enjoyed the video you've just seen, please join my Facebook group and follow me on Twitter for the latest news.